Hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just doing some moon gazing and going over today's science file. How far is the moon from the Earth? Try this. You will need a tennis ball, a basketball, and a measuring tape. Okay, before we can tell how far apart something would be, first we have to tell how big it would be. So, if the Earth were as big as this basketball, how big do you think the moon would be? Would it be about the same size? How about half the size? Uh-uh, it would be this big, as big as a tennis ball. That's it. So if the moon were this big, the Earth would only be this big. Now, how far apart do you think they'd be? Well, take a look at this. Okay, if the basketball was right here, how far away do you think the moon would be? Would it be this far away? How about this far away? How about this far away? Uh-uh. They would be... They would be this far apart from each other, 25 feet apart from each other. And that's if you just think of the moon being as big as a tennis ball and the earth down there being as big as a basketball. So how do we know that this model right here is an accurate scale? Well, take a look at this. The real diameter of Earth or distance from one side to the other is 12,756 kilometers. And the real diameter of the moon is 3,480 kilometers. If we divide 3,480 by 12,756, it would equal about 0.27, or 27%, which means the moon would be about one-fourth the size of the object we use as Earth. The real distance from the Earth to the moon is 384,403 kilometers. When we take that and divide it by 12,756, we get 30. So, the distance the tennis ball is from the basketball would be 30 basketballs lined up, or 7.6 meters away. So, now you know how far away the moon is from the Earth. You know, using a basketball and a tennis ball to find the distance and size of the Earth and moon is why science is so cool.